Let me show you some of the first things that you can do on Oppo Find X9 right after the initial configuration. So if you just did the first setup, you can check notifications and most of the time you can find uh, this Android setup uh, notification that we can choose in order to finish setting up our device. Usually most of the things that we see over here is exactly the same that you can see during the initial configuration, the configuration Sorry, so you can go through that once again in order to get rid of this notification or you can try to completely dismiss it. But of course this is also a way to, you know, to do something that you actually didn't do during the initial, initial configuration. So if you want to, you can of course go, to, uh, go through that. Another thing that we can do is go to the app drawer over here, tap on these three dots in the upper right corner, and we can go to settings. Over here we can find some settings that are related to the drawer, and over here for example we can disable suggested apps that are visible at the top. We also have the drawer, layout, and the global search that can be toggled over here, and we can also stop adding new apps into the home screen if you are bothered. Over here, remember that we can switch between categories, the iOS-like uh, uh, style over here of the app drawer, and we can switch back to the normal alphabetical list. Another thing that you might want to do is open settings. Scroll down over here to system and update, and you want to go to system navigation in order to switch between the buttons or gestures, depending which one you actually want to use. And if you want to learn gestures, then as you can see, you can easily do that by choosing learn over here. We also have some additional settings of these navigation options, so be sure to check them out in case you need to do that. Now, after that, what we're going to do is so we're gonna go back to the system and update settings and over here you want to go to software update and you want to make sure that you are actually running the latest version of the system. Now in this case uh, my version is up to date but in your case of course you might want to uh, update the system in case you do have one of course. And uh, right after that, what you can also do is go back to settings and this time we're going to choose users and accounts. And in here we can press add account in order to, for example, log into our Google accounts. So if you have multiple different Google accounts um, that you want to use on your smartphone, then of course we can easily do that. Just choose Google and then you will have the sign in page so you can log into all of your accounts over here. Uh, which is of course recommended to do if you want to access the Play Store. Now, after that, we're going to go to security and to privacy, and over here we can find, for example, the device unlock option, uh, where we can create the password to our smartphone. So, if you didn't set up the password yet, we can set up uh, like a pin code, uh, alphanumeric password, and the pattern. Now, in this case, if you go to numeric over here, let's actually wait five seconds, of course, we have the information that we should not forget the password. Then by default we use six digits in order to create the password, but we can tap use a different password type in order to, for example, switch to four digits or any other option over here. And of course, once you create the screen lock password, you can also go to face and fingerprint in order to set these things up. So you can set up the face unlock and fingerprint sensor. Besides that, we have the theft protection, which is also something that is worth visiting. Pretty much every option in here is quite useful. We even have the sim lock in here, actually, so we can use that as well in order to create some sort of passwords and protections um, so that we can be a little bit more secure when our device is stolen or lost, for example. So once we go through these options and once we go through anti-theft features, then another thing that is worth doing is the update of apps. So uh, we're going to open the Play Store over here, let's just tap get started. I'm going to skip this and we're going to use a password in order to continue. And once you have the main page of the Play Store, we can tap on our profile in the upper right corner and then we can choose manage apps and the device. Over here we have updates and you will see lots of updates waiting for you. So you can immediately tap update all or you can tap on the option itself in order to see details and you can manually update in each app one by one individually if you want to. I'm going to actually update everything at once. And uh, once the updates are running in the background, another thing that you might want to do is, uh, for example, enable or disable automatic screen brightness. So we're going to go back to settings. This time we're going to choose display and brightness. And of course, over here we have the uh, brightness settings. And I'm going to turn off automatic brightness in here. Of course, we can also adjust the brightness of the screen as well in case you need to do that. 
And uh, we can also, of course, go through all of these settings in here in order to adjust our smartphone a little bit. If you want to, you can switch to the dark mode, for example, if you prefer it that way. I'm going to actually adjust the brightness just a tiny bit again. And there we go. Besides that, uh, there is a chance that you will have uh, changing wallpapers every time you open the lock screen, as you can see over here. So you can actually get rid of that if you don't like this feature. So we're going to go to home screen, lock screen and style. Now here we're going to swipe up and then we're going to go to lock screen settings. Then choose a lock screen magazine and you want to turn this option off completely. Now over here you can of course choose the reason why you want to turn it off. You don't have to do that. You can just tap turn off and there we go. So now if we go to the lock screen, we will just have one wallpaper of our choice. Of course, we can adjust it in settings as well. And besides that, what we can also do is visit some settings in, uh, I mean, battery settings. This is what I'm trying to say. So let's go back over here to settings and then we're going to find battery. There we go. And uh, over here we can find some useful options like, for example, the power saving mode and so on and so forth. Um, but we also have charging settings, which you might want to visit. Like, for example, we have smart rapid charging over here. We have the tutorial on how to use wireless charging. We have quiet charging as well and um, reverse wireless charging option, which might be useful in some cases. Uh, so we definitely want to go over there in order to uh, find out more about it. Over here in battery health, we can also find smart charging, which we can enable over here. And we also have custom charging limit as well. So you can use one of these two options. So you can uh, set up a limit for the battery. So whenever you're charging the battery, it can be charged up to the selected percentage over here. All right. Now, another thing that might be quite useful is visiting notifications. So let me actually go to notifications over here, notifications and quick settings. And in here, we are looking for the app notifications. There we go. And I'm going to actually tap on manage all over here on the right side. And the reason why we are here is because we might be annoyed by certain apps. And I personally like to turn them off, like, for example, the theme store, which can send you some um, some notifications that can be quite annoying to receive, like some uh, ads and so on and so forth, probably. So you can turn it off over here. Unfortunately, we cannot disable everything in here. There are some exceptions, but it's not too bad. So we have uh, the theme store. Uh, you can also try to find the up market. There we go. You can also go back into these settings later on and see if the up market has notifications enabled or not. And uh, there is also the phone manager. Let me see if I can find it. There we go. It is actually disabled in my case. Um, but in case in the future you receive notifications, the reason why these apps are have disabled notifications in my case is because I actually didn't open them yet. But I assume that if we open these apps, notification access can be granted. So then you might want to go over here in order to turn off these notifications. And uh, of course, uh, we also have the snap key, which we can customize as well. So definitely we can do that immediately from the get go. There we go. We can tap on got it and you can choose whatever should be assigned to the snap key over here. So if you want to customize it, we can easily do that. And finally, the last thing I believe that I want to show you is of course the bloatware. So we have a bunch of different apps that are pre-installed for us, which uh, most likely you will never use. So in that case, you want to go through the app drawer and you probably want to uninstall these apps. So you want to press and hold your finger on the app that you want to uninstall. And then we have the uninstall option. There we go. I don't, I don't need the AliExpress app. I definitely don't need Amazon shopping over here. We can turn it off quite, uh, sorry, we can uninstall it quite easily. And uh, the app market cannot be um, uninstalled, but I'm pretty sure there is actually a way to turn it off. Maybe, I'm not sure. Maybe we can disable it in the settings. But yeah, this is what you want to do. You want to go through these apps over here and you want to check if you have anything that you will never probably use. And I believe that's everything that I wanted to show you. If there is something that I missed in this video that you think should be crucial, um, that I should mention, then of course, uh, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, leave a like and subscribe.